Star Wars trailer greetings and welcome to a Mexico City roof. This is me reacting to how I reacted to the final Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker trailer that I saw during some Monday night football thing last night. First of all I was confused by the men chasing an egg in the build up, but egg chasing aside, here's what I thought of the trailer. We start with what looks like Rey training in the jungle, which cuts the Death Star wreckage, snaps back and there's his back Wexley, cause he said so on Twitter. There's Dominic Monaghan as a resistance something. Iceberg, right ahead! Long have I waited. We see Palpatine's empty throne, which got me thinking, is he just here in spirit? Is he just a voice? But that, I think, gets answered later in the form of a bit of hood. I wonder which ships will appear in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. All the ships. There's so much going on in that frame, you could play a game of Where's Waldo? Or Where's Holdo? Deadmate. <laughs> And some say that to the right of the Falcon, that might be the ghost from Rebels. Taking one last look, sir, at my friend. R2's there at last. Is 3PO having his memory read and wiped? One thing for sure is that he's definitely got a much bigger role in this film. There it is, baby, the Death Star 2 throne room. And they're actually in it, so the Death Star's not completely submerged in water. I don't really get this bit. What are Ben and Ray smashing up? Is it Vader's mask or something? Ray seems to have some kind of dagger, and it kind of looks like Cloud City. B-Wing, Y-Wing. Is this Ben Solo, the redeemed? So there it is, that bit of hood, and that's definitely Palpatine in the flesh confirmed. Or is it really Palpatine? Darth Jar Jar, anyone? The Force will be with you. Always. Luke and Leia voiceover mashup to close. So what did I really think of it? Well actually, I didn't think it was the best trailer. It's got some pretty great moments and it looks beautiful, but it felt a bit more like a first trailer rather than a final trailer. And it didn't get me quite as pumped as I was hoping for. But on the other hand, it's definitely left me intrigued because it's brought up more questions than answers. And I'm the kind of guy that doesn't like to be spoiled. So from that point of view, I guess the trailer's done most of its job. But let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And if you're new here and I do Star Wars interviews, I made a documentary called The Empire Strikes Door. And I also do non-Star Wars, but mostly pop culture based stuff as well. So take a look around, like, subscribe, etc.